create the activities and as you can see there are certain things that i have brought it up um, from the commands which you get which you have seen in the previous document the steps we are going to follow is create private key generate the csr and then sign the csr this is an additional activity will keep it eventually we will be of some use to us then create the key store it contains the private key and the certificates in the pkcs12 format this is the final outcome okay so you can pause the video and uh, note down the command or else uh, i'll try to paste this out as well in the uh, resource section so and let's see how this works out okay let's copy paste this command and uh, i'm not going to repeat anything new because it's already we have gone through this so and i hope all of you have done the exercise so the past phrase is mathematics okay and oh, something verification failure let me try doing that m a t h o m a t h o n yes mathematics m a t h o m a t h o n yes okay there you go the next step is this one i'll take it past phrase is mathematics could not read again i don't know what is m a t h o i s country name okay that's fine so i n we can see this k okay to be n organization name is so it's a local host that is fine unit name is u n common name also i'll say local host no oh, why that's fine on oh, local host email address i'll say mk km 1987 at and x.com okay and finally challenging password no and no that's done okay um now the next step is signing the csr certificate um let's take it as it is and paste it again another math is oops i don't know why this i'm not able to type properly m a t h o m a t h i s okay that's done convert it into dr format we'll keep it ready uh is it done actually let me check is it done d e r um okay it's there it's uh, it's done and uh, finally the last command is this guy okay let's paste it m a t h o m a t h i s mathematics m a t h o m a t h i s oh come on m a t h o m a t h i s m a t h o m a t h i s m a t h o m a t h i s okay that's it now these files have been generated okay cool and uh, if you can see this is the pkcs12 okay cool now let's do one thing let's uh control x and i'm going to go to the software ag folder wherever it is okay I think my screen got stuck. All right, so I think. Uh, there you go. For some reason, my screen got. I lost my screen. Okay, so program files. Program files slash open SSL. Let me open this up. And in this bin, these are the one. Control X. I'm going to G software AG and here I have created one folder called certs okay and I'm gonna place it here that's it do this yes and this and this are not relevant okay cool now that's done what I'm going to do the next step is localhost localhost 5555 open IS administrator manage let's see if this works or not okay go to uh, security and create a key store alias and this time see this is 
this is the default key store that what we have correct this is the default key so what we have and this is a trust store trust store i don't want to do anything i will remain i'll leave it as it is all i'm worried all i'm doing is that i'll create another key store alias okay it is in pkcs12 format and this is in sun i'll say whatever this is the key store see is wmx love and server okay and take this take this and location is in this location slash pkcs12 okay i'm gonna take this as it is and let me give this permission i hope this has the permission to read it okay i'll just okay cool and let me check the permission of all of them okay it's not then that's fine password uh you know the password right mathematics that's what i'm going to give it mathematics and mathematics false submit okay now i'm gonna key alias i'll say mathematics and mathematics okay save changes <sighs> right guys we have created our first key store alias anyways i don't want to modify anything on the trust store that would remain as it is and it has been loaded you can reload it at any point of time if you want but anyways that has been um loaded now the next step is um go to the see now we have created key store and trust store correct we created create key store and trust store here that is fine now let's jump over here okay so go to the certificates and here see everything is unspecified let's click on edit certificate settings key store i'll select the one that recently that we have selected trust store i'll go with the default trust store okay jvm settings um i don't think that's actually required but i'm going to save it okay i don't think that jvm is actually required we will kind of leave that as unspecified now that's done we have to, we have set it up the next thing that what, what we are going to do is uh, server not server uh, where is that uh, i was looking for that particular ports um gosh i kind of lost it lost the control here okay ports now see here there is a port that we have connected and the port that we have connected which is this primary port and it's packaged to wm root see and it's in allow mode and this is default is 5555 now there's also got a diagnostic port which we will see later but at this stage let's do one thing let's add a port and we'll select https submit enable port yes i'll give a name it's 5555 right i'll give 6565 i don't know i'm just making it up then i'll give the name this is the name alias is the name okay sorry this description is this bind address optional backlog authenticate through um through username and password or actually this is not required digest no let's go with the username and password and the next step is um key key store alias is this one and trust store is default as trust store okay that's it save changes now it says as added successfully warning it is usually restricted you must edit access mode okay that's fine so what we have to do next is that select this here and make it to this guy select it to allow set access mode to default that's fine okay return to port list now if you can see you have a https port configured for 6565 just in case i don't want to mess it up i know that i will go and restart the server just just in case and i'll resume the video once the server is up until then take a break thank you all right guys uh, welcome back so i think is has come up <coughs> let's log in and administrator manage 
and in our case server ports it's 6565 is enabled are there any advanced settings that we need to set not required exactly now let's try to log into this let me create a new browser so i'll say i don't know whether this will work or not but i've it's a uh, worth trying local host 6565 now that's not see it's not pages and send working i'll type yes here okay guys see here your connection is not private and if you can click on this see certificate is invalid it's obviously invalid right i mean like <coughs> it's it's invalid but anyways do you remember that 365 days whatever we have said it's it's there here as you can see it's it's here and if you click on the certificate path it's just one we have not created primary key or sorry intermediary key or uh, the <coughs> roots of it we have not created that so that's the reason you can see only one path here and if you can um, scroll down see issuer i am the issuer here so so self signed certificate mm, public key this is rs algorithm that's fine subject it's there okay this is obviously it's not a valid one but we know for pos it's more than enough advanced unsafe right i if you are not happy with this pos i don't know what makes anyone happy see guys i'm really happy that this has worked https connection has worked successfully hmm and if you see the packages all of them are there which means now if i go back to this integration server Let's say I'll do one thing. Click on this, and I'll say connected startup. Never, never, ever select this. Okay, because say for in real time, just like I have one default. You have like I've seen projects where they have forty-five to fifty instances just lined up from here to here, and if if they are selected all connected startup, everything will try to start up, and loading itself will take an hour, and then we cry. Okay, why? What's happening? Don't do that. Okay. so we'll say name is default https host is local host port is 6565 username administrator and then manage verify server no see here this we need to select okay so it's secure this time click on secure verify see it's verified anything that starts with https you need to select this okay cool go oh, very cool so it's connected okay apply and close see it's secured now yeah, it's it's the same you see it's fine but question is that if i add something here will it get reflected even there as well see okay let's see this okay let's let's give it a try because both of them i'm adding here another map set saving it okay that's it I have done this in the HTTPS six five six five. See here, six five six five. Okay, let us go back to our five 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 five, which is not secure, and see what has happened. Let me refresh it. You have the map step, and you know the reason behind it. Okay, there is nothing that I can say. You know the reason why. Oh, sorry. Oh, this automatic all time. I was wondering actually, it was quite some time that has happened. Right, okay. This is one part I hate in web. That's okay. So that's about it. And you can right click and disconnect the server. You can always do this. See, okay. You can very well disconnect the server. Okay. Now that's HTTP port, and you can also disable the ports if you want. Uh, the way how you can do it is this is enabled, and this is right click that becomes your disable. Hmm. Not sure what happened. Okay, see, I've disabled from the six five six five. That's the reason it lost the connection. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so we'll go back here and we'll check it. See, it's disabled. Okay, it's uh, disabled. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, that's it for this tutorial or the section on CSR. I hope you would have enjoyed this particular section. and um, yeah see you guys in the next tutorial thank you